Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to recode, conduct reliability analyses, and compute variables in SPSS using nothing but syntax. Many folks are familiar with computing variables or recoding them using the transform menu, but to use syntax it's just a few commands that allow you to execute the analyses that you want to do um, and then you can copy and paste those commands and save them for future use so in order to do this typically you would just go file new syntax if you're going to write your own commands or you go file open syntax if you're going to open a syntax file that's been sent to you so here we have an example where we have uh, the meaning in life questionnaire which is um, data in this data set and the meaning in life questionnaire comprises 10 items um, based on other documentation we know that the meaning in life questionnaire has one reverse coded item it is item 9 so this command set here will create a variable from the MLQ 9 variable it will recode that variable according to this recoding strategy and it will recode it into a new variable called MLQ9R. We can then do reliability analyses on the meaning in life scale where we can look at both the presence and search subscales. We've got two reliability analyses specified here and then down here we have two computations of the presence and search subscale scores. So in order to get this all to go, often uh, we need to include the commands execute and so we'll simply highlight these commands and see what happens. SPSS created a variable and appended it to the very far end of the data set called MLQ9R. It then used that variable to conduct a reliability analysis for the first subscale and a reliability analysis for the second subscale. The first subscale has a 0.434 alpha, it's not very good. The second subscale has a 0.779 alpha. We can see down below it left us the commands to show that it also computed scales for the presence and search subscales. So the syntax commands do the exact same thing as the menu driven types of procedures. It just offers you some flexibility should you want to expand this and we have expanded this to encompass lots of other scales and lots of other variables.